Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about the parabola, transforming general form to standard form. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is already part 4 of our video class. The part 1 of our video, we just answer basic example of general form in which we transform this form into the standard form. So feel free to see the link in the description down below on how to answer this one. This is just part 1 of our video class. The part 2 of our video, we answered number 1. In the part 3 of our video, we answered number 2. Now this time, this will be part 4 of our video, we will be answering number 3. Alright, so let's start. So since we have y squared, therefore our equation will be like this. So first thing to do is we need to separate the y variables and the x variables. So copy 2y squared, copy plus 12y, and then we need to put a space because we need to do the completing the square copy equal sign then we transpose this x and this 18 so this is negative x once we transpose you change the sign it will be positive x this is negative 18 you transpose it will be positive 18 all right next step check class if we can factor the number for y can we factor 2 and 12 yep we can divide 2 by 2 we can also divide 12 by 2 the greatest common factor of 2 and 12 that would be 2 so factor this out by 2, then you divide plus 2y squared divided by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, y squared divided by none, simply copy y squared. Or you can put this one as y squared, that's the same class. 1y squared is just the same as with y squared. Understood that there's one here. Alright, so y squared. And then 12y divided by 2, so 12y divided by 2, 12 divided by 2 is 6, and then copy y, plus 6y. Alright, so you can also check plus if your answer is correct by distributive property. 2 times y squared, that's 2y squared. 2 times positive 6y, that's positive 12y. So therefore, your factor is correct. And then you put a space, then equals, copy this 1x plus 18. So next step class is we will do the completing the square. We need to add a new constant here. And what will be that number, sir? To add a new constant class, you just need to, okay, to add the number here, to add a new constant, you need to use the formula. B over 2 quantity squared. Now the value of B class is beside Y, the linear term. Once again, your B is beside this Y. Y with the exponent of 1. So your B is 6. So 6 divided by 2, quantity squared. So 6 divided by 2 plus, what will be the answer? 6 divided by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, quantity squared. And 3 squared, it means 3 times 3. Do not forget, plus 3 squared, it doesn't mean 3 times 2, it means 3 times 2. And 3 times 3 is 9. So therefore, we need to add 9. Now, be careful with this one class because you will not add 9 on the right side. Because in the first video, if we add 9 here, we also add 9 here. But in this time class, it, this will be quite tricky. Be careful with this one. You will not add 9 on the right side of the equal sign. It's because this is not our original equation. Our original equation class is this one. We factor this out by 2. So therefore, the thing that we will be adding is we need to multiply 2 and 9, and that will be the number that we will be adding. So 2 plus 9. Alright, so need to get the product of 2 and 9. So that will be 18, right? 2 times 9 is 18. So therefore, we need to add 18 on the right side. I hope you get that one class. So once again, once you get the number that you will be adding by doing the completing the square, we will not add 9 directly because this is not our original equation. Our original equation is 2y squared plus 12y. We factor this out by 2. Therefore, we need to get the product of 2 and 9, and that would be the thing that we'll be adding. Alright, so next step, copy 2, and then, this is a perfect square trinomial. We make it into square of binomial. So get the square root of this one. So the square root of y squared, that is y. And then you get the square root of 9. The square root of 9, that is 3. And then you copy the sign of the middle term. This is plus, you copy plus sign, and then square. Alright, and then for this one class, equals, so copy, this will be x plus 18, then 2 plus 9, that would be 
positive 18. So, positive 18. Alright, so we have, so this will be 2 quantity y plus 3 squared equals x. Then, this will be 18. 18 plus 18, that would be 36. Once again, plus you cannot add x and 18 because 18 doesn't contain variable. Okay, so just add the number plus 18 plus 18. So, this will be x plus 36. Alright, now since our equation, okay, do not forget plus our equation should be y, quantity y minus k squared equals 4p quantity x minus h. The number before quantity x minus k squared, it should be 1. So, since we have 2, okay, since we have 2 right here, therefore, we need to divide this one by 2. Okay? We need to divide this one by 2. So, divide it by 2. Divide it by 2. Alright. So, divide it by 2. This will be... Let me erase this one. So, cancel this out. Because 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, this will be... Y plus 3 quantity squared equals... So, we can write this one plus as X divided by 2 plus 36 divided by 2 plus... 36 divided by 2, that is 18. Alright, so check class. Can we factor out x squared, x, x over 2, plus 18? So understood class that there's 1 here. Okay, in x. So therefore, we can write this 1 class as... Okay, let me just copy this 1. We can actually write this 1 as 1 half x plus 18. That's the same class. 1 half x plus 18. It's just the same with x over 2 plus 18. Alright, so next step class. What will be the next step? So next step class is we can factor this out by 1 half. So factor this out by 1 half. This will be y plus 3 quantity squared equals 1 half. Then x. So divide this 1 class. Divide 1 half. We can factor this out by 1 half. So, 1 half x divided by 1 half. So, 1 half x divided by 1 half. Of course, you can cancel this out, right? Because, okay, let me just write it here. Because it will be 1 half x times. Once again, when you divide fractions, you get the reciprocal class. 1 half x times 2 over 1. Get the reciprocal of the divisor. To get the reciprocal, make this 2 to be your numerator, make this 1 to be your denominator. So, 1 half x, 1 half x times 2 over 1. Alright, so this will be 1 times 2 is 2, times x, 2x divided by 1 times 2 is 2. 2x divided by 2x, that would be 1, 1x. So, this will be x. Alright, and then, you divide this 1 class. Positive 18 divided by 1 half, okay, positive 18 divided by 1 half, so once again, okay, to answer this one, understood plus that the whole number 18 has 1, so this will be 18 over 1 times, once again, when you divide fractions class, you need to change, okay, you need to get the reciprocal of the divisor, and you change the sign, the operation, into multiplication. I hope you know, you know this one class. When you divide fractions, you need to get the reciprocal of the divisor and you proceed to multiplication. So this will be 18 times, get the reciprocal, 2 over 1. And then this will be 18 times 2 is 36, 1 times 1 is 1. So plus 36. Alright, and that's it class. That would be the factors of this one. Because if you check this one class by distributive property, let's check if we can get this one. Okay, let's check class if we can get this one. 1 half times x, 1 half times x plus. There will be 1 half x. And then 1 half times 36. Let's check if we get 18. 1 half times 36. 1 half times 36. Understood that there's 1 here. 1 times 36 is 36. 2 times 1 is 2. 36 divided by 2 is 18. Therefore, this is correct plus. Okay, this is the correct factor. Alright, and then that would be our final answer class for number 3. Alright, and then the vertex H and K. H and K. So our H is beside X. So our H is 
this is positive 36, your h will be negative 36. Your k is beside y, this is positive 3, your, your k will be negative 3. That's it, class, for number 3. All set for number 3. Alright, so if you have some questions, do not hesitate to ask. You put your questions in the comment section down below because we will be answering that one. I hope you learned something new today. If you learned something new today, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends class and to your classmates so that we can help them. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye.